There was joy around Christmas, but it was our first big thing where there was someone missing from the photos, someone missing at the table, someone missing to wrap presents for, to put things on the tree. I'm a Joshy Bear, and he was a child that bit 90 years into 12. Joshua was diagnosed antenatally. I was 20 weeks pregnant and having um, the usual scans. They picked up that there was defects in his heart. After Joshua was born, the cardiologist saw him within a couple of hours. And I remember his first words to us were, unfortunately. On that day, we met a surgeon who agreed to operate on Joshua. So it was something that was quite unheard of, um, quite remarkable, uh, but it ended up giving us 12 years with him. His passing had a huge impact on our family. The easiest way I could describe it now is beforehand the world is in colour and when Joshua passed it was grey. Everything was grey. I would be counting one, two, three, four, five, hang on there's only five and then it had hit me like a tonne of bricks. He's not here. Um, so I first met Faith um, just after the school asked us to, to drop some stuff off to the family. So Joshua was the older brother, but you wouldn't know it from the relationship they had. Faith was his little mother hen. When Joshua passed, I was concerned, really, really concerned. All the children were impacted, but Faith was broke. It was really hard. I struggled a lot get through the grief um, of my brother. I guess no one knows how to deal with loss and you don't ever expect to lose a sibling. So for her being so young, coming into year seven, all of the normal year seven stuff was added to the fact that she just lost her brother and um, was asking those really tough questions of why and why did it happen. Um, so I was able to sit and talk to her about what she can control and. The big message was like, you know, there's, there's lots of things that we can't control in life, but for her, she can control who she is and, and the legacy that she wants Josh like to be remembered in and how she acts. And just being able to encourage her to, to be the, the young person that one Josh was, would want her to be. And then when I came to year seven, when I found Lauren, I was really happy. She helped me being able to give her strategies to, to help cope during those times where she's feeling really low or you know those times where she'll be happy and really encouraging that that happy space as well because a lot of young people think you know grief and loss I have to be sad all the time but encouraging you know when she was happy to really remember who Josh was and how how that made her feel. I guess my biggest hope for Faith is that she never she doesn't lose that confidence to do the things that she want to do. Like she, when we were having that conversation in year eight, talking about her future and what she wants to do. And her, she wanted to be a nurse because she wants to help people. And she saw the nurses work with Josh and she valued that. I want to be a nurse. I want to help save people's lives. And Lauren Chaffee has really encouraged me to be a nurse. Lauren never turns anything away from what I've observed. I mean, gives 100%. A very positive person to, to work with, and um, that certainly rubs off on the students. So I think chaplaincy is important in general in a school setting. I think the side of it where kids have a safe place, especially in teenage years, they want someone they can relate to on a human level. And I, I think that's where chaplaincy comes in, and I definitely think that's the void it fills. It's good to touch up in schools because they're there to help you. They're like a big sister, or if you have a boy chappy, like a big brother. Faith is quite a shining example of, of what can happen when you put in dedicated support over a long period of time, and I, and I think that's what Lauren has provided. To the people that are financially supporting chaplaincy that are in our schools, I've seen it work, I've seen it in action. The support that it has given our family has been invaluable. I don't know if we would have got through those rough times like we did, especially the kids, if it weren't for the chaplains in our schools. The one thing I'd say to people that do financially support and support in other ways is thank you because 
you make it possible for us to be invited into the stories of these young people and the families and the staff. For the people that financially support Chaplain Seas, thank you so much and I'm happy you do. Um, and I hope you keep doing it because chaplains are amazing yeah. and we need them in our schools.